The Adventures of Pook, Toot, and Joji by J.R. Torres. One sunny afternoon, Pook, Toot, and Joji were outside playing with their toys. Suddenly, Pook had an idea. Let's go to the secret clubhouse, she said excitedly. Yeah, Toot agreed, and Joji clapped his hands, his eyes bright with excitement. They ran to their secret clubhouse, a little wooden shed they had decorated with all the cool things they found from their adventures. Inside, they found their magic rings, discovered one rainy day in the attic, which had the extraordinary power to bring their imaginations to life. Ready? Pook asked, holding up her ring. Ready, Toot echoed, raising their rings. With a spark of light, they were transported to the magical forest of dreams. Welcome to the magic forest, Pook exclaimed, her eyes wide with wonder as they found themselves surrounded by towering trees and glowing creatures. The forest was alive with colors and sounds that only existed in dreams. Pook, always on the lookout for something extraordinary, spotted a beautiful shiny creature with shimmering water powers. Look at that, she whispered excitedly. She pulled out a magic ball from her backpack, tiptoed close, and with a swift throw, captured the shiny cool creature. Got it, she cheered, and Toot and Joji jumped up and down with glee. Their exploration led them to a large tree with a familiar face. Well, if it isn't Pook, Toot, and Joji. There's a big party going on at the princess's castle, but it's quite a distance from here. There's a magic blue corvette you can borrow. It's parked just around the bend. The siblings ran around the bend and found the sleek, shiny blue corvette. Wow, Toot exclaimed, running his hand along the smooth surface. They hopped into the car and zoomed off into the mystical wilderness. Joji pressed a button, and to their amazement, the Corvette transformed into a flying jet. Joji, you're a genius, Pook cheered. With the car now a jet, they soared above the treetops, the wind in their hair, and the sun setting behind the princess's castle. They laughed and pointed at the magical sights below them. Just as the last rays of sunlight disappeared, they landed in front of the castle. The party was in full swing, with mushroom and turtle people dancing and grooving. Pook put on her dancing dress and Toot and Joji joined in, laughing and dancing under the moonlight. And as the night drew to a close, they said their goodbyes, promising to return for more adventures. The end. Or is it just the beginning? <laughs>